Welcome. Here, we break down complex electrical engineering concepts into simple, practical, and engaging explanations. So stay connected with the world of electrical engineering. Welcome to today's exploration of transformer core construction. In this video, we'll dive deep into the two fundamental designs that form the heart of every power transformer, the core type and the shell type. Let's begin our journey into these fascinating structures. The transformer core serves as the magnetic pathway for flux generated by the windings. It's constructed from thin sheets of high-grade silicon steel, called laminations. These laminations are insulated from each other to minimize eddy current losses and improve efficiency. The way these laminations are arranged and how the windings are positioned around them defines whether we have a core type or shell type transformer. Let's first examine the core type transformer the most common design used in distribution and power transformers worldwide. In a core-type transformer, the windings surround the core. Picture two vertical legs connected by horizontal yokes at the top and bottom, forming a rectangular magnetic circuit. The primary and secondary windings are wound around these vertical legs. Notice how the windings encircle the core. This is the defining characteristic of core-type construction. For a single phase transformer, we have two limbs or legs. For three phase transformers, three vertical limbs are used, with each limb carrying windings for one phase. The winding arrangement is crucial. The low voltage winding is placed closest to the core, with the high voltage winding positioned on top of it. This arrangement is chosen for better insulation management and ease of manufacturing. Both windings are cylindrical in shape and are wound concentrically around the core limb. There's a small clearance between the low voltage and high voltage windings for insulation. This concentric arrangement provides excellent mechanical strength and uniform distribution of leakage flux. The core laminations are carefully stacked in a specific pattern. Alternate layers are overlapped at the corners to ensure good magnetic continuity and reduce air gaps. This overlapping, called interleaving, eliminates joints that would increase reluctance in the magnetic path. Each lamination is coated with a thin layer of insulating varnish to prevent eddy currents from flowing between sheets. Now, let's explore the shell type transformer, a design where the roles are reversed. The core surrounds the windings. In a shell type transformer, the magnetic core forms a shell around the windings. Imagine a central limb flanked by two outer limbs, creating an E-shaped or figure eight cross section. The windings are placed only on the central limb, while the outer limbs simply provide return paths for the magnetic flux. The core literally wraps around the windings, providing a low reluctance path on both sides. This creates excellent magnetic shielding and reduces stray magnetic fields. The winding arrangement in shell type transformers is quite different. Instead of concentric cylindrical coils, we use flat pancake shaped coils called disc windings. These coils are stacked alternately, a disc of low voltage winding, then a disc of high voltage winding and so on. This sandwich arrangement provides several advantages. Better cooling due to increased surface area, superior mechanical strength, and excellent voltage distribution during transient conditions. Shell type cores use E and I shaped laminations that are alternately reversed and interleaved. The central limb is wider than the outer limbs because it carries the entire magnetic flux, while the outer limbs each carry only half. The laminations are carefully stacked to maintain minimum air gaps at the joints. The entire assembly is clamped tightly using insulated bolts and frames to prevent vibration and humming during operation. Let's compare the magnetic circuits. In core type transformers, the magnetic flux takes a single path through the two limbs. The mean length of the magnetic path is relatively longer. In shell type transformers, the flux divides into two paths through the outer limbs, creating parallel magnetic circuits. 
This results in a shorter mean length of magnetic path and reduced core losses. Core type transformers are generally simpler to construct and repair. The windings can be removed easily by sliding them off the vertical limbs. This makes them preferred for distribution transformers where maintenance accessibility is important. Shell type transformers have more complex construction. The windings are enclosed by the core, making repairs more difficult. However, this design provides superior mechanical protection to the windings and better short circuit withstand capability. Core type transformers dominate the industry, especially for distribution and large power transformers. Their simplicity, ease of manufacturing, and better cooling characteristics make them ideal for most applications. Shell type transformers are preferred for low voltage, high current applications, and where superior mechanical strength is required. They are commonly used in furnace transformers, rectifier transformers, and special purpose industrial transformers. Both core type and shell type transformers serve the same fundamental purpose transferring electrical energy through electromagnetic induction. The choice between them depends on specific application requirements, voltage levels, power ratings, and manufacturing considerations. Understanding these constructional details helps engineers select the right transformer design for optimal performance and reliability. Thank you for watching, and we hope this visualization has deepened your understanding of transformer core construction. Thanks for watching. We hope this video helped you understand electrical engineering concepts better. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, share, and leave your thoughts in the comments. Stay with us and stay updated with more videos on transmission lines, substations, and power systems. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning, and keep the power flowing.